taking us down a side road that's not on the planned stop. What are we doing? It was crazy. We actually had somebody to run us off the road. There's some crazy people. We're now on high alert. High alert, that's <laughs> right. been a great couple of nights awesome. here at uh, Eagle River State Park. Super nice campground. I mean, really nice. Really nice. Paved sites. Yeah. Most are level. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a nice area. We did some stuff while we were here. Yeah. So it was a great uh, couple of nights. Felt like more than just a one full it day. Did. Yeah, because we got here pretty early intentionally. Uh, so timing is everything, as yes, they say. It is. Uh, we didn't realize how fortunate we were when we got here on Friday. <laughs> that was the first day it was open. <laughs> yeah. So if we'd gotten here earlier, it would have been closed. And yeah. it wasn't on the website. No. Again. We're, yeah, website didn't mention anything about opening no. on Friday. Right. Uh, so, yeah, so we got here very fortunate. Uh, lots of sites open. They soon filled up. Yeah, they were the, um, the camp host, Melissa and her husband. Great, great people. Just really enjoyed talking to her. Also, a special shout out yes. to really a special visit we had. Uh-huh. Yeah, Tony uh, came by. He's and, one of our viewers. Yeah. He wanted to come by and say hi. And it was really nice. Thanks for taking your time out to come by because he's on a camping trip too, but at a different campground. Yeah, exactly. He lives in Eagle River. Uh -huh. And so we uh, set up a, a informal time for him to come by. So, so Tony Johnson, thanks for coming by. You made our afternoon. It was a lot Good. of fun. And thanks for all those insider tips. We really appreciate it. Oh yeah. Keep them coming. Yeah. You know, we're in Alaska and the moss is starting to grow under our tires. <laughs> it's time to roll. But so this is going to be a, a long day for us. A yeah. long day. We're going how many miles? 140 miles today. And it's going to take us 10 hours. 10 hours. Now like we said, timing is everything. Yeah. So we've got a couple stops that we want to make. Yeah. And, and We've got to watch the clock on it. Exactly, because we have a time schedule to be at a certain spot. Yeah. And we got to be there. So we're going to bring you guys along. Let's roll. Yeah. So another travel day means? More fueling. More fueling. Feeding the beast. Yeah. But you know, I almost forgot where this was because it's been like three days Ooh. since we filled. Maybe four days. Getting out of practice. I know. I know. And I've got to get new color gloves. We're in the U.S. I need green. Yes. I don't know if we can find that. I don't know if we can either. Maybe the garden center. Well, normally I do not do this maybe once or twice a year or unless we're in Concordia and there's a Casey's, but... I'm really craving a baked good, and we've been dry camping now for, I don't know, weeks. We've got many more to go, so I'm going to treat myself to a donut. So David just filled the Jeep as well, since we're here. It's convenient, diesel and fuel. Yep, and it's good price. Yeah, look what I got. Oh, nice. you going to share? Yes, of course I'll share. All right. So David, you are taking us down a side road that's not on the planned stop. What are we doing? That is true. It is a surprise stop for you. Ooh, for me. Yes, your birthday is coming up. Turn right now. And We're going right. to make a unplanned stop mm -hmm. here at REI. Because you're going to need to buy something. And this is for my birthday? This is for your birthday. <laughs> so for my birthday, I get Michael's or Hobby Lobby or maybe Joanne, but REI. Oh, yes. You're going to need insulated 
like snow weather kind of pants for my birthday for your birthday <laughs> let's go get some <laughs> well Slim Pickens, it's what, May 20th? May 20th, yes, in Alaska. I like them. Yeah. These are Actually, clearance. I like the color. Yeah, they kind of go. So they're clearance, and they're $99, and they're windproof, waterproof. Nice. So, and they fit. They fit. Woo! So is this going to be good enough for what we're doing? Yes, you'll need another layer underneath, but yes, that should be good. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so, not only were these on clearance, I had with my REI membership, yes, I have an REI membership, um, I got another 20% off. Woo! So nice. I saved you 20 bucks. That's right. This was getting to be a cheaper birthday present than it was going to be. Yeah. So are we going to be back to our regularly scheduled uh, program here? Any more side trips that I don't know about? <laughs> Not that you don't know about, but we do have a couple more side trips. We just finished driving through Anchorage and now we're entering the Turnigan Arm area. Official stop number two, Potter's Marsh. It's a boardwalk that goes over the marsh and wildlife refuge. Yes, and sometimes they're even here. But they're not refugees. They're not refugees. They're just taking <laughs> refuge. <laughs> I think that stop was well worth it. Well worth it. Yes. We got our eagle, a mommy, a daddy, and a, and a nest. Yeah. So that was really cool. So Neat. On to our next stop. Yes. We're on Seward Highway, and we're seeing the long, long line, the exodus of everybody coming home from a nice weekend. A lot of campers. We're seeing boats all kinds of things and the last time we were here it was crazy we actually had somebody try to pass us and run us off the road and we were in the big rig all right what in the world are we doing next to the seward highway on a turnout on a turnout yes and now what what are we doing here what's next Should, shouldn't we be in seward we should, but I have a check. I've got it. Wait, what do I have? I, <laughs> you have a bucket list. I have a box that I need to check off my bucket list, and today's the day to do it. Well, besides whales and belugas, it's boar tides. So the Alaska Turnigan Arm, um, there's only two places in North America that have the really good boar tides. One is here in Alaska. The other one is in Bay of Fundy. And um, so I just, I want to see a boar tide. So you looked at the tide schedule, yep. what, a couple of weeks ago. Yep, so today we were heading down to Seward and they had one really early in the morning. Yeah, that's not happening. That's not happening. Then they had one this evening, Yeah. which will be evening, believe it or not, yeah. in a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. So we sort of timed everything to where yeah. on our way down to Seward, we could stop here yes. and witness a boar tide. And supposedly where we're at is it's like a, one of the best yep. places to see it. There's yeah. several and along it, the and road. And it's supposed to be a big one. Now they come in every day, but there's different um, heights of which the, the tides come in, yep. the streams. So this is supposed to be a good day. We've been planning this for weeks and we're finally getting to do <laughs> it. I'm so excited. So let's see what that tide looks like. Yeah. Um, this is the view out of our window, and while we're waiting, I made us some lunch. Very nice. Yes, Your nice. This is prettier than mine. Well, yours <laughs> is covered in Parmesan cheese. <laughs> it is, and I mixed it. 
So we're going to have a nice hot lunch while we wait the next hour or two yes. for the tide to come in. That's right. Okay, there's some crazy people. They are going to go out and surf the boar tide. So I think we're at the right spot. So we're... It's supposed to be at 6.30 at 6 and it's plus or minus 30 minutes. So we're... We're now having to stand outside and keep an eye out for it. That's right. We're now on high alert. High alert. That's right. <laughs> so. We're waiting for more water yeah. <laughs> to come this way. So what is a boar tide? It's a tidal phenomenon where the leading edge of the incoming tide forms a wave of water that travels back up the narrow bay of Turnigan Arm. It is so powerful that it reverses the direction of the water flow in the bay. Join us as we witness this special event as it is the only one that occurs in the United States.
and then the board tide came in, and then the water just continuing. To oh yeah, in. and like, it was actually pretty quick. I mean, it yeah. seemed like it took forever to get to us. But once it did, once it did, it just it came took less and went. A minute to pass by. Yeah, it was Amazing. really fast. So, yeah. man, all right. Well, with a little bit of a delay, but well worth it. Yeah. We are heading to Seward finally today. <laughs> we'll get there tonight, but it'll still be light. looks like a ghost town. No kidding. So do you feel lucky? <laughs> <laughs> More than lucky. We I'm actually... pretty reserved about <laughs> getting a campsite here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Man, last time we were here, this place oh. was packed like packed. sardines. Packed. Wow. Station is still here. Yeah, well, it is 940 in the yeah. evening. No one is in line. No, Wonder that's why. nice. All right, well, you've dumped. How's the water pressure? How long is it going to take us? I don't think very long. Oh, man. Wow. What's yeah. the PSI on that? Man, that I might be a hundred. It is. It's not going to explode the uh, filter, is it? No, because I'm not going to do it all the way. Man, that thing is rocking. It is. Okay, well, we made it to Seward. It, what time is it? It is 10.10. It is 10.10 p.m., not a.m. And the campground is pretty much empty. And there's the dump station. So we're gonna get our spot and get situated for the week. <laughs> 